All right. Welcome to another installment of Artists You Should Know About. Today I'm going to talk about Larry Lalonde. Possibly not a household name, but an incredible guitarist and musician. He's mostly known for his band Primus, along with Les Claypool and Tim Alexander, and other assorted drummers, but I'll say those are the three main ones. And Larry is amazing. Um, I got really into Primus there for a while, and I would say it took me a good maybe three months of listening to them every day to get past the prowess, the awesomeness of Les's bass playing and the silliness and weirdness of his uh, lyrics and noticed this whole other world that the guitar was doing. And I bet a lot of people who listen to Primus have the same reaction or never really notice how insane the guitar is. The guitar is just as bonkers and batish crazy as the bass, but obviously the focal point is the bass because there have been hundreds of guitar players and so in a way it's kind of, eh, another guitar player, whoop de doo but uh, to misquote uh, either Einstein or uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you need to know all the rules, or once you know all the rules, then you can break them at your will, or something along those lines. And Larry does that. He knows exactly what you can do, he knows exactly how to do it, and he throws it out the window and plays what he wants. If you listen to something like uh, Groundhog's Day off of uh, Primus's second record, but first, you know, whatever, official record, uh, Frizzle Fry, um, the guitar line is great, and it, it's it's simple, and it's a, it's it's melodic, and it goes off of a the bass is kind of playing some seventh chords, and but just as as a musical standpoint, I don't know what I would have written or what anyone else would have written to go along with the bass line. I'll link it down below so you can hear it if you don't know the song. There might be a song on the Brown album where the guitar doubles the bass, but other than that, he never touches the bass line. It's always doing something different. So there are three independent parts going on all the time with the drums included. Uh, possibly the greatest solo ever on the planet is about a five second solo done by Larry on a song called Sergeant Pilcher or, or Pilcher Squad off of Animals Should Not Try to Act Like People uh, put out around 2002 or something like that. It's bonkers. Included, and, and Actually, in fact, that entire song is bonkers. I implore you to try to find what chord they're playing or what key it's in. Um, so good luck with that. And then the last, the premise is the last record, uh, uh, something seven, De- defashionated seven. It's great. I'll say it's great. Usually, uh, you know, bands decline over time. You know, they're not what they were in their heyday. This is definitely not what they were when they started. It is, uh, I would say a masterclass in musicianship and three guys not being rushed and playing what they want and playing how they want it's amazing prog rock um i would say almost unmatched for a three piece uh, uh for a three piece but his guitar work on this record is incredible it's very understated larry lalonde is i'll say understated he's mixed back behind the bass usually because again the focal point of primus is the bass and he's not as showy as most any other guitar player in bands are but he doesn't need to be he's so good and so weird i don't know who else to compare him to he was trained by uh or not trained he was taught by joe satriani back in the 80s to go along with he knows exactly what the hell he's doing he's just good and i wanted to uh, bring him up so hopefully someone hears this and might not have come across his name before uh he uses multiple uh picking and picking techniques any which way to try to get a sound out of guitar, he'll employ, uh, he'll employ if he needs it at the time. He's just wonderful. And I can't really find very many uh, interviews with him. Because again, in Primus, everyone's, oh, Les Claypool, oh, the bass, oh, the bass. And I love the bass. I do not take anything away from what a big fanboy I am to, to Primus and Les Claypool in general. But Larry Lalonde, good God, he's awesome. Check him out. Check them out. Uh, they might take a little bit for you to get into if you don't know Primus, but uh, musically, they're phenomenal. Lyrically, they're silly or creepy. And yeah, they, they're good. They're good. So yeah, I'll link uh, some songs down below so you can check them out if you don't know. Thanks for stopping by. Larry Lalonde, you're awesome. Talk to you later.